Hey guys, Tech Adventure here with a video for you guys. In today's video, I'm going to show you guys how to fix this iCloud backoff failure issue that you might be encountering. Explain to you guys what this really means and how this could be bad for your phone and how you can resolve this. Now, this message pops up for multiple reasons. One of the reasons is that your iCloud storage might be full, there might be a software bug, or simply your phone doesn't have enough space in the iCloud for it to back up all of your photos and videos. But you can solve all this problem in the couple ways that we're gonna show you. The first thing you want to do is actually go into your settings, go to wherever you're signed in with your Apple ID, click on that, and once you click on that, now we wanna to go to our iCloud here. So once we go to iCloud here, we wanna take a look at here where we have our iCloud storage. Right now, this phone is using the five gig that's available for free to use on iCloud. Generally, you can buy more if you want to back up more photos and videos to your iCloud, depends on how much you want. So you want to make sure that you're managing this. So you're going to click on Manage here, and then it will show you what's being utilized. As you can see, the backup right now on this phone is taking about 2.1 gig and then a couple other items here. Now, let's say you're having an issue where it's full here and you need to delete some stuff. Go ahead and start deleting things that you normally wouldn't need in it. Sometimes there might be apps or something. For example, we may not need something from iMove. You can just delete that data and that will start clearing up space on our, our phone. You want to make sure you have enough space because if you took more photos or videos, it can't quite upload that to the iCloud or to the internet for it to back up. So that's the main reason why you're going to see that failure. Now, if you see that you have space and you're still having that issue, the next thing you want to do is simply go ahead, click on iCloud. This time, what you're going to do is go ahead and take a look at all of this here and figure out exactly what you want to back up in your iCloud and what you don't. So you want to turn off some things that aren't required, turn something on now let's say photos videos sometimes it's good if you are backing up your photos make sure this is turned on so it'll be turned on let's say it can't do it because you don't have enough option or storage it will give you this kind of message where it says this phone for example is storing this much data but it can't do that because it doesn't have enough iCloud storage you'll have the option to upgrade to their plans that they have that's entirely up to you you can see here you can get 5 gigs for free to use iCloud but if you want to do 50 gig 200 gig or even a terabyte it says 99 cents per month two dollars per month or even ten dollars per month now iCloud storage might not be quite important to you especially if you're not transferring stuff over or looking to back it up. If you have it locally on your phone, that might be fine for you, but that's another option for you to take a look at. Now, the next thing you wanna do if that doesn't resolve your issue, it's go back to settings again, and this time in the Wi-Fi connection setting, you wanna make sure you have good signal here. As you can see here, ours has good signal here. Now, this is important because what happens is when it does back up, generally most of the time it will use your Wi-Fi connection. Usually cellular data might not be strong enough for it to back up everything. So make sure you have good Wi-Fi connection. Go ahead and turn off the Wi-Fi and then turn it back on just to verify the phone is able to connect to the network with full strength. And sometimes if that doesn't work, you can always disconnect this way by forgetting the network and rejoining. But do know you'll need to enter your password again to the Wi-Fi if you do this method. Now, let's move on to the next thing. If you're still having the issue, it's time to give your phone a force restart. So here, as you can see, I have the iPhone 12 Pro. We're going to show the demo on. Now, this will work on iPhone 8 and above this force restart method that we're going to show you. And that's going to be simply press and release the volume up, down, up button volume down button and then the hold this big side button so you're going to do it volume up volume down and then hold the side button you have to do it really fast as you can see if you slow down it will give you the siri option you're going to keep on holding this big side button till the phone goes completely black and wait till you see the apple logo before you let go of that side button that you hold on this side so once you see the apple logo you let go of it and let it reboot. Now this is gonna be fixing any sort of minor software that issue that you might have encountered with your phone or your phone is experiencing. Usually a general go to troubleshooting step recommended by Apple. Now, let's say even after doing a force restart, you're still having an issue. It's still saying that iCloud backup has failed. What can you do next? Well, the next thing you can do is simply go ahead and click on your Apple icon here. Go ahead and sign out 
here and then sign back in. Now to sign out, you'll need to enter your password so you can sign back in again. So you want to sign out, sign back in and see if that helps now to uh, fix that issue. Now, let's say you're still having an issue uh, that we went through most of the troubleshooting stuff. The next thing you want to do is go ahead and update the software on your phone. So you want to do is go to general in the settings, software update, and make sure you're on the latest version of it. Sometimes with new updates coming out, there might be a bug on a previous version preventing your phone from backing up. So you want to go ahead and look for it and then download and install the latest version so that it is not anything software related bug that's preventing the up from you for your iCloud backup not working. Now, the last thing you want to check is if all of this have not been working, it's time to go ahead and check out Apple's system status. So what system status is basically Apple has the services that they run, like iCloud is on their server. We want to make sure the servers are working. And to do that, we simply go to Apple system status. And when we do that, it will take us to show us all the services that are available currently. The one thing we want to look up here is iCloud backup. You want to make sure this one is available. Let's say this is not available or down for some reason. That's going to be impacting your phone from being able to backup. Any of these services related to iCloud, if they're down, could potentially impact that your phone from not being able to backup. Now, that is a rare case, but it does happen here and there where service goes down and you don't have service. You just have to wait until it comes back on. Generally, Apple fixes them really quick, but it could sometimes take a couple hours, even a day. And if you're still having an issue, it's probably best to get Apple to check out why your phone is not able to do that iCloud backup. So hopefully this video is helpful. And if this video is helpful, please make sure that like and subscribe button. Also, if you guys have a tip or trick to fix this that you found, leave a comment in the comment section. Thanks for watching, guys. See you guys next time.